Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarland Toys, DC Direct, Page Punchers, Ocean Master. You know, I passed on that first Ocean Master a while back. I'm glad I did because this is much more in line with what I would want from a figure. And you probably know by now that my personal DC enthusiasm does drop off quite a bit once we get outside of Batman stuff. So it's not that I was dying to have an Ocean Master figure, but when it looks like this, there's no way I'm passing up on that. This whole wave has just been dynamite sculpt, one after the other. I got this from McFarland Toys online store. Let's get it out. Of course, all the Page Punchers figures come with the black hockey puck stand, trading card, and Aquaman number one comic book. This one featuring Ocean Master artwork. All right, here we go. As with the rest of the wave, just, just dynamite sculpt. All these different textures just really incredibly rendered and just amusing to look at you know these shoulder pads that look like crab shell you know what i mean they look like you're a red lobster you're about to crack open some crab legs growth barnacles kind of clinging to it fish scale texture down here the texture of the pants here I'm, what, what do we think that they're going for with this texture it's not really shark skin it's something it's more crab-like, lobster-like little details, you know, with the ridges. You can see these are nice and soft. Man, this this cape has got these ripples in it. Like, it's a little bit weightless, maybe, you know, underwater. It's not totally hanging. It's maybe floaty. And the face, this mask is just wonderful. You got this fishy mohawk. Looks like a fin. His mouth even looks almost like kind of bass-like, you know, like, like fish-like. The scales on the neck, man. Even like the clasps of his cape look like, they look kind of like barnacles, you know what I mean? Like growths sort of calcified on there. It's just, it's awesome, man. It looks like a lobster. Love it. Love it. Like I said, do I need an Ocean Master? Not really, but I'm not going to pass up on a figure that looks like this, man. It's just too cool. Get a little bit of head movement. Of course, not up all the way. I would like to see more of these figures that are meant to be swimming or flying, be able to turn their heads up. There's tons of room in this in this uh, butterfly area here, and of course, texture on this this bushing piece here. His uh, crab claw shoulder pads move up a little bit when you lift his arms. We got a little bit of movement there here at, here at the, the torso. He's getting a little bit of crunch coming in at the waist and at the, not much at the diaphragm. It's mostly coming from the waist. Great side to side. Great, great up for swimming. That that makes up for that head not looking up because, yeah, I'm going to be wanting to put these guys on flight stands in battles. The legs aren't maybe moving as much, at least forward and back. You'll get some from the sides, and these move out of the way just fine, but it's really the way that the pelvis is cut. Double knees are great. Oh, man, just love all the details, right? Even this fin sticking out of the back. Just impeccable sculpt. Uh, he's got the sculpted ball joint ankle here. A lot of movement. Maybe almost this almost feels a little loose compared to this one. It's got some uh, tighter action. Wrists are lightly sculpted ball joints as well and are tucked up well under those gauntlets and still have a ton of range and just man look at all these fins out of the box he's got two accessory holding grip hands but he also comes with these two fantastic gesture hands they are mirrored or chiral if you will versions of the same hand but they look excellent and Almost everybody in this wave has a trident. This might be the best of them all. It's got these spiky chains hanging from the middle here. They're hit with some darker paint, so there's some nice contrast against the gold of everything else. I mean, still just tons of unpainted sculpted details that you could really go in and have fun with. All this algae, these growths, barnacles all over the place. Just have a field day paint all this stuff. An asymmetrical points. It's not perfectly shaped. It's a little bit irregular. It's got a little more personality. 
The fingers here do have a decent amount of give to them, so it should be easy enough to get this into the hand of this guy. Yeah, see, this is where he really comes to life, and while the figure is really great looking, uh, when he's just standing there, he feels a little wooden, but when you get him sort of posed like this, and he's, uh, he's devoting full time to floating under the sea, it really takes on very expressive and imposing sort of presence. I love it. The color scheme, maybe not my favorite. I, I tend to not like navy. I just think it just is too dark. I appreciate they, they were going with kind of a matte look, not super glossy. And of course, I don't like when they just do the bare plastic for what is meant to be metallic pieces. But like Aquaman's brassy armor, they're doing this thing where it's, where it's deliberately marbled. So it looks like it's got a little bit more depth in there, more of a patina. It's a little bit better, but it's definitely not as nice as it would be if it were painted. And now here with the rest of this Page Puncher's Wave, and there's there's just no question that this is one of the best looking waves that we have seen from McFarlane in their entire DC run. Each of them very unique while still while still kind of maintaining a cohesive sort of grouping here. There's not a bad figure in this whole bunch. I would easily recommend any one of them. And like I said, not a super enthusiastic fan of Aquaman and his Merry Men, but these are can't miss figures for me and I, I'm, I'm gonna find shelf space for a lot of them. And you know, it's been a minute since I've done uh, some of the, the posing short videos. I can't wait to fi find some really cool poses. All these trident battles, this is gonna make for some fun posing. They're underwater, so you get to put them in flight stands and stuff. So they're del they're gonna be delivering in the fun factor for me. That is all I got for this uh, Aquaman Page Punchers wave. It's definitely shipping now from McFarland Toy Store. People are finding them in stores here and there. Be on the lookout if you wanna get them. And I will talk to you all next time. Thanks for watching, bye.